Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode two, season two of Chloe vs. the World. But before we get into it, this episode has very kindly been sponsored by Babbel. Now, you might be wondering what Babbel is. Well, fasten your seatbelts because I'm about to tell you. Now, a lot of you slash me all the time will say, new year, new you. So why not learn a new language? Maybe you're thinking about traveling, working in another country, or you've got a trip planned and they don't speak English or your current native language. Well, let's face it, it's so much easier to know some basics such as où est la bibliothèque, my French for where's the library. Um, no one wants to get caught in another country needing a toilet and they don't know where to go or needing a book to rent because that's literally the only French sentence I need. I need? I know. Well, don't worry because Babbel have got you sorted with their apps and online services. Babbel can help you with everyday conversations and will help you build your vocabulary, practice for conversations and build your confidence in speaking, okay? It's basically like your own personal language coach, all from your phone, offering you in-app feedback and progress trackers. We all like a little well done when we've achieved something, such as me getting out of bed today to get here because I have a violent hangover. Babbel is offering all my Chloe vs. the World listeners six months free, okay? With a purchase of a six-month subscription, all you have to do is use the code CHLOE. So go to babble.com forward slash play and use promo code Chloe for an extra six months free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash play and use the promo code Chloe. Babble, learning language that works. That was Babble. That is so good. Did you like that ad read? Yeah, you actually smashed that. Thank you. What languages do you know? <laughs> uh, Australian? <laughs> I actually don't know any languages. Not Apart even a little English. bit. A little bit of French. <laughs> mm, actually, I know Welsh. Go on then. Um, Pembloid Hable, Hables. What does that mean? Pembloid Hables. <laughs> Means happy birthday. Ooh, Pembloid Hables. Yeah, <laughs> and then we've got um, Indai Tree. Indai Tree, what's that mean? Guess. Who cares? <laughs> no, guess. <laughs> <laughs> In die tree. I love you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I feel like it's so obvious. In die in tree. In die tree. In the tree. <laughs> <laughs> die in the tree. Die in the tree. No, Why one, two, know? three. No. Oh. <laughs> That's so not obvious. That's ridiculous. I thought that was quite obvious. Anyway, what languages do you know? French. No, you don't. I really? Do. I could go to France and have a good time. What? What can go on then? I don't have any pets. Stop asking me. <laughs> what? I don't have any pets. Why do you even know that? It's stuck in my brain from when I was French. <laughs> did you learn that at school? Yeah, like, obviously. Did you use Babbel? I could have used Babbel. Yeah, probably now get we me a bit further than I do that. Pets. Mm. Yeah, because we actually probably should use it a lot more because we like to travel. Yeah, you're obviously going to Bali, so and you're coming to Australia. Yeah, and we've just been to Amsterdam. What do they speak in Amsterdam? Dutch. Is it? Not sure. Me neither. We should know that. Dutch. Dutch, 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 Dutch. Do you du know any Dutch? Uh, Street waffle. There's, I do know some Dutch. My housemate used to live there. Go on then. Um, I'm trying to think. Guten Morgen, or is that German? <laughs> You're asking the wrong people here. <laughs> I think I only know swear words. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not swearing on this pod. Thank That's you all you do. Swearing. Swear, swear, swear. Swear, 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 swear. Right, just for a little bit of context, I promise you that I'll be bringing back some family and friends. And Millie will be joining us once a month for a special... 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 <laughs> for a special app. I want to call it like Millie's monthly something, but the only word I can think of is moans, but that's not very fun. Um, Millie's monthly... Montage. Yeah. Yeah? I don't know. We'll think about it. Do you like my new set? Yeah, love it. Super comfy. Much nicer. Much nicer. Yeah. Oh, no. Just a little bit more like... Um, what's chill the... vibes. Yeah, chill vibes. Like we can just sit, chat, moan, montage. Mo <laughs> You know, you just sit a montage yeah. here, basically. <laughs> What's new with you? 
What's new with well? What's new with us? We've just come back from Amsterdam, and that was one hell of a fucking trip. One good trip. I think yeah. that's my favourite trip we've been on. Same. I think every. To be fair, we did we did go a bit overboard, but nowhere near as overboard as what we've been on past trips. And I think yeah. that's why we enjoyed it. That's the key. Yeah. Like you can go out, but go home by one. Yeah. That's Have a fine. good night's sleep, and then wake up the next morning, and then. You were kind of fresh for the day. We didn't have that bad of a hangover. No, like I would say I wasn't hungover in Amsterdam. No. That's a stretch, but. Little but. tiny bit. But then we were able to actually get out, do. I can't actually remember anything that we did during the day. What did we do? So the first day, oh, we had a fucking palava getting there. Oh, over. my God. We got to the airport. I was late. Yeah. You were already oh, there. Yeah. That was the first stress of the morning. Yeah, Chloe we were late. and Lucy thought that they were going to miss the flight because their cab driver. He didn't turn up. Late. He's never on time. No. But see, I like, for stuff like that, I like to use a driver that I know because then I think I can rely on them. But yeah. He didn't want to come on time. He, so the first time we did it was when we were going to the NTAs. We thought we was going to miss the carpet. Oh, yes, Jim. We I was stressing out, like, hey, what should we do? It was like, we're going to have to just order an Uber. <laughs> and then you were like, no, no, no. And then he's done it again. He, he did he it needs again. needs to be sacked. I love him, though. So that was yeah, fine. he's nice. Bloke. Um, so I was late. Then we got there. Then one of our girls checked her bag in. And then all of a sudden they said no more bags. So she just waved goodbye to her bag. <laughs> And then we got the but well, then we got the notification. Your flight is cancelled. So Vanessa where's her bag? Like, where's my bag going then? <laughs> and the woman was just looking at us like, "What do you want me to do?" And we we're like, "Give us some help, please." We never happened to us before. What the hell? So they said it was cancelled. So we thought. So she said the next flight we'll be on will be the half past five one, didn't she? Well, no. Originally on the app it said it, our flight was at half ten or something in the morning, yeah. and then they said, "Oh, it's going to be half two. On the app. So yeah. like, right, okay, we've only got like a four hour delay. And then someone else then said it was the five one. Oh, yeah. So we thought well, we'll go sit in Weatherspoons because what was the point in leaving and coming back? Yeah. So we went inside in Weatherspoons, got a bottle of Prosecco. I then ordered a breakfast I was really looking forward to for someone to tell us your flight is not cancelled. You have 20 minutes to get to your yeah. day. <laughs> like all of a sudden, we've gone from being cancelled, having a chilled out time, <laughs> ordered a bottle of Prosecco, two bottles of Prosecco. Chloe's ordered a big breakfast, <laughs> but we hadn't ordered ours yet. And then all of a sudden, Nicole, well, no, Nicole and Vanessa went and had a chat. I was like, well, should yeah. we just double, double check? Yeah. They went and asked. They said, no, yeah, your flight is definitely still going. So so you had to leave your like, leave your breakfast, yeah. leave the prosecco, and sprinted. It was hell. I had security. I basically bought myself this Louis Vuitton travel bag, like after Love Island, because I always wanted one. It's got to be the most impractical Annoying bag in the world. Bag. It weighs ten kilos on its own, like yeah. fucking and such hell. a bad handle as well. Like, yeah, you can't put it on your shoulder. It hurts. And then I'd bought this new puffer jacket, which I decided <laughs> I can't get it in my. Oh, I hate myself. I can't get it in my suitcase. So, but every, we were all wearing big coats. Yeah, we obviously were. we're saving suitcase space. So I've got this huge coat on, like this coat is huge, with this huge bag sprinting through the airport. Oh my God, it was horrid. <laughs> and then we get to security and guess who's left water in our bag? Me, 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 me. <laughs> so he's like, I had scissors <laughs> in my bag. And I thought, actually, I know that I've got that in there. I had it in my little makeup bag, like now scissors. I was like, it's just scissors, it's just scissors. Like, well, can I see the size of the scissors? <laughs> or like, what the fuck? Why have you got them in there? And then I showed him, he was like, oh no, fine. Yeah. And then like, I was like, well, what could be in my <laughs> and I was like, you literally just bought a water a minute ago. Did you take that out? And you're like, no, <laughs> didn't take it out. But she chucked her the your lipstick though. Yeah, I did. I, what? Lip gloss. I, did. I threw the lip oil as we were running. I was like, I ain't getting stopped at security, but kept a two liter bottle of water. <laughs> 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 oh, I hate my, my brain it just doesn't work. Anyway, so the man was really nice and he did check it really quick. And then we are running, running through the airport. Then we get stuck on the stairs and this woman's like, can you just stop running? We're like, no, our <laughs> flight is going. Get to the gate for them to be like, what are you doing? Your flight's cancelled. <laughs> Again, it kept being cancelled <laughs> on, cancelled on. Yeah, and then this woman did a little announcement like, Okay, so we were waiting around till like 12. So we're just sat on the floor at this point. Like, I'm trying to catch my breath. There's no water anywhere. Like, I haven't eaten. Obviously, no. I wanted my big breath. All I'm going on is a half glass of Prosecco, like, vibes. <laughs> and then she said, oh, okay, basically, there's going to be an update at 12. And the update was that our flight was coming at half past five. Mm. So we're like, hey, we've literally got so around. many hours. So we went and sat in this pub, you know, drinking, obviously. What else would you do in an airport? <laughs> And then this little woman who'd like kind of come through all of our struggles that day, yeah. she came over like flights leaving at two. We're like, for fuck's sake! <laughs> oh 
Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> and I think we'd all, again, bought another bottle of Prosecco. And we were like, down it, down it quickly. We was like, but what if we get there again? And it says it's cancelled <laughs> again. And we were like, just what do we believe at this point? But yeah, we, we got there and we got way. on the flight. So actually it was fine. Landed in Amsterdam. It's very cold. Oh no, but our mate, little mate Ollie. <laughs> oh no, no, bearing in mind, Enough. our flight was the only flight from London going to Amsterdam that day. So apparently there was this weather warning. There was freezing fog. But when we got there, like there Literally wasn't even turbulence. Yeah. No, no, there was a bit of turbulence to be fair, oh. but there was no fog. Definitely not freezing. Yeah. And anyway, so we were the only fight that went out. Ollie, our friend, was flying from Manchester and he had, what, three cancelled <laughs> flights? He got there cancelled, so he bought another one. That got cancelled and he went home and was like playing with EasyJet, like, please get me on a flight. I need to go on this <laughs> holiday. And they were like, we don't know if we can't help you. And he was like, please. Begging. Like, you can send me. in the chat, beg. I'm begging you, please, please, please get me on a flight. <laughs> And then weirdly he was like, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to the airport because I fancy a prayer. <laughs> so we went to the airport, bought two sandwiches, and all of a sudden managed to get on a flight, which is fine. Mm. But we've got to Amsterdam, whatever, got to our hotel, which I oh, lit God. Oh. And then another bad thing happened. So many bad things actually happened on this show. It trip. was like, you know, everything happens in threes. Yeah. This was the third one though. Must have been about 18. So yeah, no, there was loads. A yeah. lot of threes. We got to the hotel and it's like one on a canal. And in Amsterdam, what's your little fact? Oh yes, yeah. so I found out a fact <laughs> whilst I was in Amsterdam <laughs> that I really quite enjoyed. Um, so in, when you go to Amsterdam, there's a lot of houses like all squished together. When you look, the houses are so thin. And what we found out was the wider the house, the more tax you have to pay. So houses in Amsterdam are actually thin but tall. So you they, they, they built up high rather than wide. So we had this lovely hotel. It was I don't recommend staying there. No, because a lot of things went wrong at yeah. this hotel. But it was an, a good location, very good location, because we was Yeah, the location was good. Central. And it did actually have three double beds. We thought someone was sleeping yeah. on the sofa. Yeah. But um so it was in this like boutique hotel. We were staying in the penthouse. They just had the <laughs> li- penthouse. We were. That's what it was called, the penthouse. It was. It wasn't not like... Not the kind of vibe you're Not the penthouse thinking. you're thinking. It was just a room at the top. <laughs> <laughs> it was the room in the roof. Yeah. Um. But we got there. She was like, yeah, we have fucking huge suitcases. Obviously, in Amsterdam, you need different boots. I don't know. We were just being extra. We could have traveled with hand luggage, but mm. we didn't. But we got there and she was like, yeah, lift's broke. We were like, oh, that's so good. But then also we discovered... I There's no see, lift. Didn't see a fucking lift. So I don't know why they were saying that. There's no lift. There was no lift. And we all had huge suitcases. I'm all wearing these big coats with this fucking Louis Vuitton bag swung on my neck, <laughs> l- lumping a 30 kg suitcase up the stairs. Oh my God, it was hell. But we did that. And then what did we do that evening? Oh, we went to Lola's. That was good. That was Lolo's. Lolo's. Lolo's, yeah. L O L O. Which was. Hello, hello. I just, for as reference, if you wanted to go there. Yeah. But it was really good. Yeah, Italian. Food was yeah, we food had was really made, nice um, pasta and really really good cocktails. I think they're co- kind of known for their cocktails. And then if you go downstairs, they had a little photo booth. Yeah, at the back there was a little bar. We was the last people left in the restaurant. Yeah, everyone we? eats early in Amsterdam. Mm. But also it was a Thursday, and he was like, "Oh, it's not really like that lively on a Thursday in Amsterdam." Yeah. So if you come, if you came tomorrow, it would have been more lively. But it was yeah. nice. It was good. And then afterwards, we went to the I red went light. To the red light district. Oh, and then you went to your first peep show. I went to a peep show. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it was weird. What a, what a random place, Amsterdam. Is. I was so excited to go and be a part of it. Yeah. I, I want to see what it was. But then, like, we kind of all, to, I think it was just on the red light district, you pay like two euros, wasn't it? Mm. You go in this little room and don't touch the sides. Like, it's clearly not clean. Clearly yeah. not clean. We went in there and, like, I had a little look and it was a naked lady, like, feeling herself. <laughs> but then after 30 seconds, I was like, no, nah, what am I doing? No, she was like, yeah, doing this sexy dance and like just but she kept lifting her mini up. Yeah, <laughs> camera, but you could see there was like loads of me- Oh, before we went in this booth, this man came out. He was on his uh, own. He was like, out. I've never seen anything so beautiful. And I was <laughs> like, what are we about to see? There was a naked lady just like touching herself. But yeah, after 30 seconds, I was a bit like, oh, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. You can go in there for two minutes, basically, can't you? But mm. two minutes for us was well, like, way too long. And you I'm... can see everyone else looking. And yeah. I could just see, like, she could see that I was in there with, like, Nicole and Ness. Mm. So we were, like, smiling, like, hee hee, you okay? <laughs> and she was, like, smiling at us. And I think she was, like, getting a bit of a break from all the pervy men, like, staring yeah. at us. She was like, oh, they look nice. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's that. do a performance for them. They yeah. Seem, they seem a laugh. But after 30 seconds, we left. Then we just walked up and down. Like, yeah, then, well, it was quite late, wasn't it? Because we stayed. No, no. Then we went to the, to, bar. To the pub. We went to the pub. And Ollie came then because he'd finally landed about midnight yeah. in, in Amsterdam when his flight was meant to be at like 11 a.m. But then, yeah, he landed, come met us, and we stayed in this Irish pub. It was I don't really know why fun. we went to an Irish pub in Amsterdam, but we somehow stumbled in there. Yeah. It was really good. It was really good. Can't remember what it was called or anything. No. But no, we stayed there. Actually, something weird happened in there. Like, there was this boy and this girl. <laughs> I can't work out, like... Are they, they related? Swingers. I think they might have been, I don't know, open in an open relationship. I don't know. Yeah. But they weren't like touchy feely. They just kind of came over and sat with us. Anyways, he introduced himself and he was like, hey, my name's <laughs> Forrest. And I was like, Forrest, that's such a cool name. No, it went you, round, And yeah. then he went round and we were all like, Forrest, Forrest. And he was like, no, my name's Bart. Why are you <laughs> saying Forrest? Four of us had heard Forrest. But the weird thing is, Forrest t- cannot be mistaken to Bart. Bart. It's literally no, doesn't sound anything like it. No. But we're all four of us separately because it was a very loud, busy bar. We was all d- doing our own thing. And he introduced uh, th- himself individually. Yeah. And we all was like, oh, it's Forrest. Uh, Forrest. Yeah, Forrest. Forrest. No, Bart. He was so offended that we all thought it was Forrest. And he was like, yeah. is this a joke you're playing? And I was like, no, are you, jo- are you pranking me? Yeah. I was like, well, your name is literally Bart. Bart, what? Forest, Bart, Forest, Bart, Forest, Bart. And we were like, no, no, Forest. It was like, no, Bart, like Bart Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> and we were like, right, okay. Nice to meet you, Bart. And yeah. then we just kept going, Bart, Bart, Bart. Yeah, <laughs> me and you in the corner. Didn't find it funny at all. Like, literally, no one else paid attention. We should go, Bart. <laughs> See if he would look at us. Yeah, but he wouldn't. Didn't. But if he said Forest, he'd be like, you okay? Yeah, yeah I am actually Forest. That he was, was defo lying. His name was Forrest. But yeah, they were just kind of, we were just vibing with them. Then Ollie came, but then we went back. Then what did we do the next day? Oh, we went to Ted's. We did. Yeah, we went for a bunch. That was actually really nice food, but the service was was a bit... I think Amsterdam's just a very laid back yeah, country. Yeah, that's true. I think everyone's stoned. <laughs> yeah. I think everyone's just, you I, know, not I sober. Yeah. Because we got there at one and we'd made a booking and paid a deposit and they were like, yeah, okay, just wait there. And then they just seemed oh, to be yeah. serving every other person apart from us. And we <laughs> kind of all just stood there in the doorway. It's not a big place. No. Stood there in the doorway at for about half an hour. Yeah, yeah, at least. We sat down and we had some food. That was all right. Nothing else really happened in there, did it? No, that wasn't a funny experience. Then what actually. did we do after that? Then from there we went to... Oh. We just had a little mosey around the town. <laughs> Yeah, had a went lot home. Of Half of us just conked out. Oh on the yeah, sofa. we went back because we were having dinner at what was it, cafe in the city? Yeah, this was like meant to be our big day out, wasn't it? Birthday out, and then yeah, slept most of the afternoon. We literally went back. Everyone just passed out. <laughs> oh, what was it about where we were staying as well? There was one bathroom between oh, yeah. six of us. So like, anyone who needed a toilet for number two, it was like you just had to go and sit in someone else's shit. Wasn't my favourite place <laughs> to stay, and there was no mirrors anywhere. No mirrors in this in this hotel. Yeah, we're all doing our makeup like in TV reflections. Oh yeah. So, yeah. so we went back. Then we went for like our big night out. We went to Cafe and City. That was good. That food was, was good. so fun. Yeah, and then nice it turned into like a club. Yeah, and we were all a bit a bit drunk in there, wasn't we? Did we go yeah. out afterwards? No, no, that was we just stayed in there for most of the night and then went home. And then the next day, I think we were all a bit hungover and tired, mm. and it was raining, wasn't it? raining but then what we did decide to do was that night right we've wasted the day but what would be a good idea and something that everyone does whilst they go jump stand is go on a canal yeah. boat and chloe didn't have a very good experience i'm on allergic to boat. boats i literally am allergic, <laughs> allergic. To can't go on a boat you, like this has to be Ugh. the last time we remember that you can't go on boats no it's now a thing yeah i just got on the boat and all of a sudden like i was I thought, I was a bit nervous because we got a boat in Mykonos. Yeah. And I fucking died, bruv. Yeah. Oh, my God. I had about 10 good minutes of, you know, lols and taking pictures. And then all of a sudden, I'm projectile (laughs) vomiting. The poor woman has had to pick me up off all fours in my bikini as I'm throwing up and put me in the bedroom. (laughs) But the bedroom's probably the worst place to be because there's windows and you can hear it sloshing. Yeah, and you're right under. You're in the sea. Yeah. So I just entered a whole new realm of hell. Hell. at least you had somewhere to lay down. You were like, so we were on this busy canal boat with this woman was trying to give us a tour and tell us all these interesting facts about Amsterdam, which is where I learned about my interesting <laughs> facts. Um, but Chloe's like crawled up at the side, like whilst everyone's just trying to enjoy themselves, like 
pass out <laughs> and I, th I thought you were going to be sick no, on the I boat was. but you managed to oh no then I was sick you oh, was yeah cool. and then as soon as we got off Chloe like sprinted to this restaurant and they were like no 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 one's allowed in I was allowed in so then we ran somewhere else and then you just were sick on the street on the street I couldn't hold it in but like the motion wasn't going like I was oh, walking yeah, and I was like this stages. is not going anywhere so for projectile vomited all over the street then we've gone into the W hotel I don't know what we were doing in there but like Everyone was talking, I was getting flustered, so I ran outside to do more sick. I wish you. Yeah, I had was you. I don't know what you lot were doing. No, I think there. we would sat on the sofa having deep chats. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. I yeah, to be you. Sick. That wasn't the time for deep chats for you. No, I was no. violently unwell. So more sick, more sick, and then we went. Then we went dinner. for dinner. Yeah, that was another Asian style restaurant, wasn't it? Yeah. What was um, that called? Mm, what was that one called? Uh, Secret Garden. Oh yeah, that yeah. was really really nice. But we was all sort of a bit flagging by that point. I, was, I think oh, if wow. we'd gone on the first night, we would have had a really good time. Yeah. The food was unreal. Oh yeah, I remember. I mm. just no. So I was still feeling ill. Yeah, that really nice rice. That yeah, bagu oh, that rice. rice was so nice. Banging. But everyone was having cocktails. I was having Coca Cola. It's the first time in my life I've been sat <laughs> was everyone's having a cocktail with Coca Cola. I was actually yeah. pissed off. Aww. And then I was like, "Oh, should we go out?" I was like, "I need to go home and be more sick." Well, because apparently there's a blue light district. We didn't actually go and see. Yeah, it here, I wanted we? to go to that. But it's like so you've got the red light district, which is obviously just girls, and then the blue light district is it's guys. Is it is it mm. gays as well, or is it just? I don't know. I'm not sure. Somebody was as well. No, yeah, but anyway, there's one f one for not just the men. What? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> not just the men. That is the... <laughs> <laughs> good advertising. <laughs> Go there if you want, but we didn't. Yeah, we didn't. So can't give you any recommendations. What was the best thing we ate? I think mine was that wagyu rice. You know, that was so banging. Lap. Um, yeah, I think mine was that the food at the Oh, no, no, at Ted's. Uh, we had that. Did you like you that Dorito bagel? No, it wasn't my favourite. Oh, really? Because yeah, it was cold. I don't like cold food, do oh, I? The bagel was cold. It was cold. I wanted a hot toasted bagel. You fucked that one then. We didn't say on the menu cold bagel. I thought it'd be hot. Yeah, but what was inside apart from Doritos? Chicken, I think. I don't know, maybe. Egg? But basically it was this literal, yeah, it might have been egg and it was this Dorito, uh, <laughs> Um, bagel <laughs> and then it had a sauce spicy mayo and then a pot of Doritos so you literally dip it in the mayo and then dip it in the Dorito and eat it yeah, that was, was like good. such a good in, like invention creation. yeah it was good actually what well, so that was yours was the wagyu rice mine was the rice but I think it's because I needed to eat something because I was so ill so it probably just about no it was good I swear no it was so nice and I, I ordered another portion we ordered more yeah yeah I so that was good and then we went and then Sunday was no, yeah, we came home Sunday and then I had to fly back from Amsterdam and then from London drive three hours back to Wales. Fuck that. So that was a bit of a hellish day for me. That's not very fun. No, but I you was was you stuck in traffic? Yeah, we took us two and a half hours to get home. Oh, did yeah, you? Really quite oh, bad. So yours was, as, was nearly as bad as mine. And then I, because my brain was obviously mush from being away, I then ordered food because I, I really wanted a wagon mama, so I ordered food and then I was playing Fortnite and I looked at my phone, it'd been half an hour, I was thinking, where the fuck is this food? And it was on the screen saying I still needed to order it. I was like, fuck, I've not ordered it, you idiot. Went to order again, but it said it'd be 50 minutes. Long. So I was like, oh, fuck it, I'm just going to order a McDonald's. Ordered a McDonald's. By the time we ordered, the door's gone, wagon mama's here. So I ate the wagon mama's, then McDonald's came, ate the McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Standard. So that, yeah, that was good. That's fine. Don't worry about that one. That was Amsterdam in a nutshell. It was good. Really good, would if I recommend. Yeah. We're actually reporting her live today We're off the back of a violent fucking hangover. <laughs> it's basically been non-stop since we left Amsterdam. It is Christmas though. Yeah. Yeah, I've actually, oh, I've really gone out a lot this week. I mean, I went out with my management. We went to the Bags house. Oh yeah, that was fun. And we did Friendsmas. Basically every year we throw a little dinner thing at ours and we just take it too far. <laughs> I slept the whole day yesterday and I actually texted Molly this morning trying to cancel this part. <laughs> but I can't believe I'm here. I feel like this morning I was like, I'm absolutely fine. Like, don't worry. Like, I can go with this. And then we were on the way here and I was like, oh my God. Yeah, we were really, really chatty. And then all of a sudden we could just, I was playing sad songs. Yeah, <laughs> that's right up my street though. Yeah. Don't worry. I feel like when I feel really rubbish, like I like to feel even more sad. Yeah, well, let's put Adele on the way home then. Let's definitely play it. Well, like Givian. <gasps> Givian! Morocco. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. 
I was going uh, for a breakup. Yeah. And I discovered Gibeon. Happy, like, what was it? Anniverse. Heartbreak. Heartbreak anniversary. Yeah. Heartbreak, Heartbreak, Heartbreak hotel. hotel. That was Heartbreak where we were staying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were both really going through it, but like, Millie loves playing sad music and I was feeling so sad. And I remember I was doing my makeup and it was just this give you. And I was like, oh, this is how I, this is sadness. I was like, Millie, turn that fucking music off now. No, no, no. I was out because you <laughs> was in the bathroom doing your makeup. Yeah. And I was like, right, I need to get a good lighting. But it wasn't a nice one in the bedroom. So I went outside and I was sat on this table. It had one chair, yeah. this really lonely table. And I was just <laughs> sitting outside on my own. I was like, anyway, give you an... <laughs> And then, and then I realised, I went in to go and like maybe get dressed or something, realised Chloe then played her own music yeah. over mine so that she didn't have to listen to it. But anyway, we were just having our own nice separate music time then. Yeah. I feel like today though I want to feel sad, so let's play him on the way home. Oh, I'm so happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> that could, I literally, music to my ears. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. We, so obviously we've just been to Amsterdam. We thought it'd be funny if we could test some of our Amsterdam knowledge because obviously we were immersed in Amsterdam so we should know the answer. So Molly's put together a little quiz. Question one is, how many coffee shops are there in Amsterdam? Oh my God, there's coffee, a lot. Coffee, is it like coffee or coffee? No, coffee, coffee shops. Shop. Coffee shops. What, what, you, you well, I don't know, I didn't Amsterdam. see any. Didn't see any coffee shops in Amsterdam. There's literally hundreds. Hundreds. Hundred. Hund, what? Are you joking me? I reckon there's like twenty. Twenty. Oh, is that what you're gonna go for? Fuck. Thirty then. How many are you going? I'm gonna for? go for um sixty. Oh, I thought there was hundreds. <laughs> well, Millie's gonna win the point. It's hundred and sixty-four. Shut. Oh, there's 164. Literally, there's, think about it right down the red light district. There's probably 30 alone just down that one street. I'm also not looking at the shops. I was looking at the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you was going inside. Also, the coffee it's shop. like some of the shops are like in hostels and stuff. Like they're all hidden. Hidden oh, coffee Oh yeah, shop. don't forget. Oh, there, there's loads of hostels, isn't there, in Amsterdam? Also, it might be similar to Barcelona because they they don't all advertise it, and you just go in and then you're in a yeah. coffee shop. Yeah, yeah, like it's no, it doesn't say on it buy drugs here. Yeah, maybe it's like souvenirs, and everyone knows what souvenirs means. Yeah, well, it probably says but coffee that's shop. The, the hint is coffee, coffee shop. Coffee shop. Means come in here and smoke. Some uh, okay, were well, you in that one then? What is the name of Amsterdam's football team? Well, you know it, do Netherlands. You? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, not the countries, but the team Amsterdam. Is Amsterdam a country? Amsterdam's a city. Fuck. In the Netherlands. Right. Well, maybe. I got that half right. right is it going to be like QPR? Like, it's going to be letters? It's not letters. It's not letters. Okay, it's not that then. Mm, something to do with Dutch? No. I don't know. That's a really... Hard I know because drink. I know the, where the stadium was because I was looking you at You like football. And not Amsterdam football. Why? What's wrong with Amsterdam football? I can't go and watch it often. I can go and watch Arsenal. Down the road. Can't go to Amsterdam and watch that. Well, we did, so you should have learned that then if you were listening to the boat tour. I'm submitting. Oh, I wasn't alive on the boat, so anything you fault. learn on that fucking boat, that's your fault. <laughs> yeah, I just learned one I'm going to go with Amsterdam. <laughs> it is it? Uh, Ajax. Oh, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Well? No. No, never heard of it before in my <laughs> life. Never, never, never. <laughs> right, next Give question. A bonus point if you can guess what colour they play in. <gasps> colour. Is it one colour or more than, what, more than one? It's, I'm going to double check, but I think it's one colour. Because there were shirts everywhere. It's fucking football shirts everywhere. Right, colour of Amsterdam football shirt. Neon yellow? No. Oh, you'll go. Okay, I'm going to go for red. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Well done, Millie. Damn it. That means two points for Millie. Oh, were we playing game? I don't know. Quiz? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Molly, we are. How many windows are there in the red light district? Oh. Can I just say this is mad? This is, is it? Mad. Yeah. Okay, so fine. It's a lot. It's a lot. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm going to guess there's like 400 buildings. And maybe they've all got four windows. Like 1,600? Okay. Have I ever shot that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go. 800. I'm Fuck changed. off. Sorry. Can I have 800? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, you're going for 800. Um, I'm going to go for 1,000. Chloe gets that point. 365. There's oh. no number of windows in the red light district as there are days in the year. Ah, one for every day. You go to a different one every day. I don't, I don't think I believe that. I was quite good with my guess 400 buildings. Yeah, but then you're right. If in, in most buildings, there's more than one window. Yeah. However, there is more not on the red light district. There yeah, is they're some down the street, little aren't streets. They? Yeah. Oh shit. Anyway. What is the name of the main river running through the city? The Rhine River, Amstel, Angstel River, or Zahn? Is it Amstel? I want to go like, for Amstel. Amstel Beer, maybe, is named after that. I think it's too obvious though. Rhine River? River Rhine. I'm gonna go for Angstel River. I'm going to go for Rhine River. And yet you were both right the first time. Oh, is that? No. <laughs> oh, no. Why that did was... we do that? I don't know. We talked ourselves out of it. Yeah. Why would you put Too a trick obvious. question? <laughs> also, I really thought after you did the boat tour, you would know what river yeah. was. <laughs> you can't say that. I was Anything that happened on that boat, I ain't got fucking clue. No, I'm not going to lie. I heard that one fact, zoned out, and then we just decided to get drunk. And so, deep jazz. Yeah, and we had a bit another DC on that, so... I like, was honestly didn't just listen. concentrating on not throwing up or shit in my little pants. What was her name? Philippa, wasn't it? Yeah. Philippa and Sven. Sven, Sven was driving the bow and Nicole was all over that. She loves Sven, loves Sven, loves Sven. <laughs> yeah. He had a chair, like, sitting, like, obviously for him to sit on, but because... That the, we had all the like windows sort of closed on the boat, he couldn't see, so he was above the boat looking out. So he was standing up. And Nicole just goes and sits right behind <laughs> him in his chair. I was like, Nicole, like he might need that. Like you haven't asked. She was like, Sven, do you care that I'm sitting in your seat? And he was like, No, 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 <laughs> go on then. And then Nicole was just hanging out the boat, Lynn, <laughs> the only one, just taking loads of videos all the time on her own, having such a great time. Like it actually cracked me up. Well, I took her to Costco to get everything. Oh like, yeah. Oh, I was like, like, one thing about Nicole is she's gonna enjoy her time. <laughs> Costco was, if there was a place, like if someone said to you, Where's hell on earth? I would say a busy Costco day. Oh, really? Was the it bad? Time, oh my God, it was awful. And I forgot my membership card, so I had to get in the queue to like do that. It took oh, an hour and a half to get there because traffic was so bad. And then everyone's just like banging trolleys everywhere. You can't, the way the shelves are laid out, like there's, you know, strawberries here and then like an electric scooter. It doesn't make sense. So it was horrible. But Nicole, I was like, Nicole, like I was running and I was like, we've got a list. Let's just fucking get the list. And yeah. she was like, we need brie. I was like, what do we need? No one's going to eat fucking cheese. We're playing games. She was like, I don't, I haven't seen the brie. I'm going to go find the brie. And I was like, <laughs> I'm going to pay now. Like, I'm going to go and pay. She was fucking running around finding the brie. And I've, I've managed, we had a huge trolley just full of shit. I've like got this. Someone's come to help me. Like gone through. I've paid, <laughs> and I'm like, where the fuck is Nicole ringing and ringing her? And I was like, where are you? She's like, oh, just looking at the decorations. I was like, Nicole, seriously, stop it, Nicole. She's just in her own world. All yeah, the time. must be so fun. <laughs> Love that her, was Nicole. Right, we have a little segment. Oh. Yeah, play some music for this bit. <laughs> in her own world, she's playing. <laughs> This next bit is Chloe versus the week. Obviously, it's Chloe Millie versus the week. Number one. Yeah. Tommy and Molly may have been spotted back out together after their split. She, what? There was rumours. Yeah, what well, after him partying in um, Dubai with Chris Brown. Remember? Gel. Yeah, what the fuck? Hello, Love that. Chris Brown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bet Tommy was having a great time. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize. What yeah, but then, so then everyone was like, oh, I think it was a bit unfair, really. Like, yeah. everyone was just like, oh, what, he's out there doing that whilst Molly Mae's at home with the baby. What, so he's not allowed to go and have, holiday, night off, like, yeah. and have fun. I'm sure she, she's going to do that at some point. As I don't well. know if she'd be partying to buy it, but maybe she'll have, you know, yeah, she might have a little, out. Yeah, she might have to do some work and go on holiday yeah. and have a trip without Bambi. So I just feel like that just shows you how shit it is having a relationship in the public eye. Literally that. They will twist anything when actually it doesn't mean anything and everyone should just literally get a life. I wouldn't. She, um, she posts a picture the next day without her engagement ring on, and that's why people were like, "No, I've already yeah, done the investigation. Going, I she hasn't had her wedding ring on for a while, and apparently it was because she was getting it resized." 
bears. That's fine then. Yeah, but people were looking for something well, to find. So like they've obviously done that. Someone, some sh weirdo little person has yeah. gone to try and find something to get some ammo, to write an article. They've thought, oh, she's not wearing a wedding ring. Write an article about it when actually... Why are you concerned about that? I don't understand that. Why are you bothered? Why have you looked oh, it's and started yeah. telling people? Yeah. People care way too much about other people's You've lives. You've got a relationship in the public eye. Yeah. My thoughts on that? Well, I try and I don't like to like plaster it everywhere. Obviously, we kept it a secret for a long time, didn't we? Yeah. So it was like, I enjoyed, I really enjoyed that. And I kind of wish really that we could have carried that on, but it's it's not sustainable because that is my life at the end of the day. And my life, my my our job is, our life is, is all over social media. Yeah. So how could it? there was going to be a point where I had to show Liam because yeah. I would just be doing all of this stuff purposely trying not to get him in it, which is a little bit weird. Yeah. Um, but it is, yeah, obviously we've both had relationships in the public eye. It's not fun. Yeah, we were actually talking about it this morning. And like, it was, yeah. I would rather keep it private for as long as, until I thought it has actual legs. Yeah. Before I post. Yeah, so you mean for when you are when you start dating yeah. and getting to know someone. I'd rather definitely keep be that. so private. Defo. Yeah. Because you don't want to come out here and then everyone starts getting involved before you've even properly got to know each other. Yeah, exactly that. You know? Like, if I don't know where it's going, then I'll probably shouldn't be telling everyone that no. this is who I'm going to dinner with. Yeah. But right, you're, you're only scared about going to dinner. You're scared? Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, obviously, how me, there's ways you can do it to be not yeah. that bait. Like, obviously, how, how me and Liam did it. But yeah. there is going to be a point where you will be going somewhere maybe that is a bit bait and someone's going to spot you. But you just have to maybe wear a bit of dis a disguise, a hat. Yeah, wear a hat. And some sunnies, but I can't really do that in the winter, but... You can, I do that hat, in the winter. Hat, scarf. Liam kind of wore, like, a cap and was, like, walking down, He's but it's kind of hard to miss. Yeah, England, <laughs> when like, a six, can't... six guy walks past yeah, you. Yeah, you can be like... Hi oh, Liam, oh <laughs> Millie, there's Liam, there's Millie, literally you two. I know, but it's kind of better now because I've got my brown hair, I don't get noticed as much. Yeah, to be fair, I've got my bob now. So for those yeah. who... However I feel like it's your voice, it's very distinctive. It's my voice. As soon as yeah. I start speaking, someone says, so I'll just be mute, and, you know. Yeah. The table, like, <laughs> On the date, don't talk. Just yeah. I'll text. Look into each you other's eyes. Um, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is, it is hard, yeah. And I think if you if you keep it sort of low key until you know for sure and then then you can come out in the world and say it when you're ready. No, I don't want to tell anyone what I'm up to. <laughs> <laughs> you have a podcast, I think that's your job. No, no. Oh, just bad to <laughs> drop myself in it. <laughs> Why what? I do things and I don't talk about it on my podcast. Oh right, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I keep it a secret. You know, I don't have to tell you know every single little 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 bit of your life. No. No. And sometimes what I do is I tell a story, but I make it sound recent, but actually it was a while ago. Yeah. Not often. That's fine. Yeah, it that's happened. fun. Nobody it has to happen. know the timeline. No. Otherwise people start figuring things out and then that'll be in the press as well. <laughs> 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 right, next thing. Sam Thompson, one I'm a celebrity. Ah, oh, it's so happy. We're so pleased for him. Oh my God, honestly, so pleased. I wanted him to win, I think. Yeah, ob obviously. I feel like that was his live stream. You can tell how... You, I, ca I just thought, you can imagine his reaction when he got that the call. Goal. To be like, you're going on it. Like, he probably screamed the house down, him and Zara, jumping around the living room. Yeah. Their little cats, like... Even when he was doing the eating thing, he was like, I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. Like, How can you be happy to be here? <laughs> balls. <laughs> Literally eating balls. Stop. And then when they, then they did this, uh, the cyclone, like, he just was... Mm. When they got so food, he was screaming and um Tony. So, no, who was his name? The oh Nigel. He was like, I think Sam is very excited for <laughs> this. <laughs> but he wasn't very excited. Yeah, he gets excited. Yeah. yeah. Someone said Nigel Farage's fee was one point five million and I've heard it wasn't that oh, it was yeah. a lot of money. I'm not sure he would have been paid that. That's a lot of fucking money, mate. No. I don't think he was paid one point five mil. I've heard it was like <laughs> so. That's Can't be. I okay, I think that sounds a bit more believable, but not 1.5 mil. Are you actually kidding me? Like, that's also, a lot of money. Caitlyn Jenner went on and didn't even get that. Like, her reported fee is like 500,000. Yeah, that's more believable. 500k for Caitlyn Jenner. That makes sense. 
Oh, yeah. mean, that's a ridiculous amount of money to be paid for three weeks in Australia, bruv. But the thing is, as well, though, for some reason, every every time a, poli- a politician's been on there, they do really well, don't they? They've yeah. when was the last one? What was Matt the last Hancock? One? And he came in the f- in the final. He came third. Came Maybe third it... as well. I wonder if it's in their contracts. Like, if you do it, you can come third. Because who the fuck are voting for? I them? don't think that that would be in their contract. It can't be. But mm. it's they I don't know why they would come so far. No, I think it is. Everyone loves a redemption arc. Yeah, they, that do. they go in being hated and then they because people love ah, a journey. Yeah, 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 yeah. People love a little they're journey. They're hated to begin with, and then, and then, you then see they... their character. And yeah, then you're like, oh, he's actually not a bad person, but then you think he literally stands for bad things. So, yeah, but then it's yeah, you kind of do people think about that when they watch it, or are they just watching it thinking he's nice, like he's got a nice personality. Also, you got to think, yeah, with TV like that, you're up against Facebook mums. You went up against mm. people we were chat to. Well, everyone seemed to kind of get along with him well in, in there. Yeah. We didn't see, apart from obviously Nella and his argument, but like, mm. apart from that, you didn't see no one sort of disliking Nigel. No, that's true. However, I didn't watch the last sort of week, so I'm not sure. But I really didn't watch it that much. Oh, I what really was keeping up Fortnite. with it. And then I was in Wales for ages, so I just playing Fortnite. Yeah, that's... What you've been up to. You literally play it with me. Not as much as you play it. I'm fucking good, mate. Yeah, I need to get up to your level because... If I anyone's wondering, really I was playing with someone the other day. I keep telling you because this is a sleigh. <laughs> playing with someone the other day and they dropped off <coughs> like literally on the other side of the map to me and they died within two minutes. I picked up one gun. It had nine bullets in it. I ran from the top of the map to the bottom in the storm, picked them up, revived them. Whilst they're getting revived, I'm being attacked. One shot... Bang, headshot, dead. And then I fucking managed to get us both shitloads of guns. Shut up. And then they just played shit and lost. And I was like, I've literally been to hell and back for you. Well, you know, good. Gotta find better people to play with. Me. You. I'm not as bad as that. No, you weren't. Am I? You did kill someone the other I killed day. two people, so hello. <laughs> really, really getting better there. Yeah, you're good. But I- the last point is, Tana Mojo's veneer fell out while she was making TikTok. Oh my God. I no saw time. this. No. Yes. Do you want me to send it to you? Her veneer fell out. Yeah. But at first I thought it was fake. Like it was like a Maybe setup. she popped it back in and then did it. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. Like it maybe had fallen out, but then she kind of put, put it, it in, in. And then I looked and I felt like it was a sort of little bit not in place anyway. Uh, okay. But anyway, and then it flew out and she's got this little stuff there. That's the thing with veneer is like you actually have to have baby shark teeth underneath. Yeah. But apparently like, you know, in years and years time, like it's going to be really bad for you and eventually you can't put teeth back on it or something. Well, you can't because I've got a crown because yeah. obviously when I was in Love Island, I basically ruined my tooth and I went to some random doctor and like Magaloof. It was really weird. Oh my God, yeah, really so weird. now I've got a massive, I've got a crown and for me to get a crown over this tooth, they were like realistically, so it's basically like what a veneer is. It's like yeah. a porcelain like cover. They were like, this is only going to last 10 years and you have to get an implant. But then obviously I'll be what, 38? then I'll have to get an implant. That'll last you like 10, 15, because the implant erodes away and you just see this big bit in your gut. You're like, I'm going to have horrible teeth. Ew, no, it's only one like tooth. That. Yeah. Fine. I'll just but imagine it. if you've got veneers then. And yeah, so it'll all like erode all the way up and like you'll just see. Surely, is that. that proven? Has that happened to someone yet? Or? I don't know. I feel like they're a fairly new thing. We're doing dilemmas now. We dilemmas! Dilemma. Woo! Okay, so... My boyfriend went to his work Christmas party on Friday night and didn't come home. Oh. oh. He always gets pretty blackout junk whenever he goes out and stops texting me, and he's never not come home when he said he would. Ooh. When I asked him where he stayed, he said something about staying at his boss's house where they'd had an after party, but something feels really off. There's also this new girl at his work. Ooh, Ooh. Fucking hell. Ooh. No, this story's getting He told me about her when she first started working with him, but recently has said less and less about her. I've seen her messaging him in the evenings, oh my God, and on the weekends. And when I ask about it, he says it's work stuff, but no one else from his work seems to text him on the weekends. Oh no. Oh Am no. I going insane and how do I find out what actually happened if he won't tell me? I would go through his phone, but she only messages on his work number and he doesn't go anywhere without it. Doesn't, right, first off, you shouldn't be going anywhere with your work phone on the weekends because that why quiz. do you need your work phone? Yeah, Surely that's five. left Cock at home. Off. Unless you're like, I don't know, saving the world. And you need it. Yeah, what job do you need to do on the weekends if you've got a work? Yeah, what social, job have you social? got? 
if he worked in social media. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, but let's yeah. So let's assume he's not doing that and he works in an office. For yeah, that's better for the plot. Then that's that's a that's one <laughs> red flag. First red flag is why the fuck is he always on his work phone? Yeah, second red flag. Let's go from the beginning. Home. Didn't come home. What when he said he was gonna and he normally always does. Do you not have him on fine friends? Oh yeah, I think that's a bit toxic though. What? Mm. No. It's not. No. Well, no, we've got each other on fine friends. Yeah. That's because we are friends. And I think I just want to like make sure you're safe. But not that I don't care if Liam's safe, but like I I did it with my ex-boyfriend and I sneakily got it up on his fine without him knowing. <laughs> and I would like literally stalk where he was. I love fine friends. Yeah, so do I. But then like me and Liam had a discussion and he was like, like I just think like, why? Well, like we text each other all day long. You know what I'm doing anyway. Like if, if, if you need that, then you obviously don't trust me or believe me. So first, oh, I want to put um, I want to know what you're doing. That's yeah, can I just see, please? Yeah, wear a GoPro and live stream. <laughs> 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 Anyway. Right, he didn't come home. Well, dumped, number yeah. one. <laughs> I always say I would never dump someone. Like, I don't have it in me. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yes, you do. <laughs> um, so he didn't come home and he said he wouldn't. He said, he said something about his bosses. Well, I would say you haven't probed enough. You need the statement. He said something about his boss's house. They had an after party, but something feels off. I think gut instinct is always correct. I've yeah, never, I agree. Been wrong. No, no, a hundred percent. Trust your gut. Yeah, I feel like, especially like I don't know, I'm not a boy, but in girls, it's it's that feeling you get. You and know. every time I've had a gut instinct, it is true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Literally true. So if you've got that, then he cheated on you that night, basically. With this new girl, he won't leave him alone on weekends. Yeah. He's sex. She no, that's not acceptable. To be, I don't care if you work with her. Don't be text. What are you texting about on the weekend? Are you actually talking about work or is it code for, oh, let me let me Skype you this evening? Is that let's send nudes or <laughs> like, what the fuck? You don't know what they mean. Have you ever saved someone in your phone as someone else? Exactly what I was about to say. I've never done it, but I know a boy that I was seeing. This is obviously my ex from years ago. He saved me as Craig. <laughs> Yeah, because he was doing bad things. He was doing bad things. And obviously, like, whoever he was with must be like, this Craig is fucking incessant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, who is this Craig? Okay, but then let's flip it on its head. If he's actually saved it as Megan, let's, let's yeah, say Yeah, Megan is her name now. Like, then then maybe he's got nothing to hide. Or maybe he's dumb. Change the yeah, name. Maybe he's fool. literally stupid as fuck. But what I think, boys can be extra sneaky and kind of show you enough. So they're like, well, you can see it's her. Like, I'm not hiding anything. Mm. But you you are. You literally you are. are. You're, you're be, either way, he's being shady as fuck. Yeah, he's being, I would draw him out 100%. I would go for his phone, but shouldn't. Go on the work phone. I would. Go on it, go on it, go on it. Literally I think if get on that, that work feeling phone. To, go, to do it. Yeah. It's really bad, but... I think if you've got this inkling that he might be doing something dodgy, then you might as well just find out for yourself. It doesn't even, things. like, there's, there's quite a big dilemma, like, it's the whole screen here. And the only bit you've, I feel like, asked him is that, where did you stay? Like, I don't feel like you've stuck it on him. Like, bro, you said you were coming home. You didn't. Why the fuck is this girl messaging you on the weekend? Show me. Mm, yeah, but we don't know what she said. She might We're, have. Am I going insane? No, I you're not. I find out what actually happened if you won't tell me. You're not going insane. I would go for his phone, but she only messaged his work number and he doesn't go anywhere without it. Also, she says he doesn't leave his work phone around. What, when he's sleeping? Yeah. Get an alarm. Go, shower. This is, these are the opportunities. Yeah. Shower. Middle of the Toil night. Uh, he might poo and use his phone. Yeah, middle of the night. Set an alarm, 3 a.m. Yeah. Vibrate under your pillow. Yeah. Wake up, get on the phone. Yeah. It's yeah, like those two options. Or when he... No, yeah. When else can you do it? I think that's the only two that you actually can't use your phone. You shower and sleep. Yeah, but who would Car, take it in the shower, won't. maybe lock the door? Oh, if he's doing if that. If he's doing then that, that's, then that's, that's fucking weird. weird. That's weird. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know sometimes if I'm out and be playing my music in there. A sneaky thing to do. Go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is? When he's on his work phone, yeah. Just get him to start showing you stuff on it. Like, oh, can you, oh, I sent you, send a TikTok to his work phone, get it up, and then just see if he'll scroll and just wait. It's got, you've got to play the waiting game. Mm -hmm. But if you can see the screen and she messages, you've got him banged to rights there. You've seen it. You know, like if he's showing you a TikTok, you can see his like messages. Oh, but yeah. What, what, that's on TikTok though. What if they're not messaging through TikTok? No, because our notification might, I don't know. I'm just thinking. What thinking I out loud. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm, I don't like that one. That one's not going to work. <laughs> we'll try it. <laughs> Because he obviously is his work phone. Why has he got TikTok on his work phone? You, you I used to have TikTok on mine. I always do all that data Fairs. for non-work things. I oh, I feel sorry for her. Yeah, I would. Well, number one, you need to just draw him out anyway because it's muggy regardless. And then number two, go for it. Get on that work phone. Yeah. Get on it. Solved. <laughs> <laughs> on to the next yeah. one. Okay, so that is the end of... Millie's monthly montage. Montage. Woo! Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're listening. Give us five stars and we will see you next month for more montages. See you in a month. Woo!